Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. We have first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Now first quarter moons are about challenges and using your obstacles, using obstacles to pivot forward. So if you're humble and grateful and gracious, you're going to move forward. It will bring in new things. Full moon and Gemini embrace the flow of life. Full moons are things that are coming to a head so you can push forward here. So if you embrace life, you go with the flow, then things get easier and you're not fighting against the tide. So you're just accepting things as they, as they unfold, dealing with them as they unfold, understanding, being humble about them and understanding that it's all part of your life's journey. So be humble, be gracious, be grateful for what you have. And go with the flow here and lots of beautiful things are going to come in. Life is a lot easier when you do that. You'll reach your goals far quicker as well through doing that. And we have the Three of Wands. The World Card. And that's what I'm saying. You'll reach your goals far quicker. And the page of pentacles now if this is about your stability here this is about the the idea of what stability is for you now it can be that there's certain things going on in a certain area of your life it could be your work your finances your environment so your home life here your relationships um and it's about maintaining stability here so if there's challenges going on be gracious about it just go with it solve your problems as they come keep things stable or what your idea of stable is. Now, this could also be a study card. It might be you want to gather information about something that would help you keep stability, you know, in place. Um, it might be that you're ready to embark on a new opportunity for study. Um, but knowledge here is power. You've got enough knowledge here to be able to maintain. You're, you're knowledgeable about life. I feel you understand the spiritual journey about going with the flow. Even when there's upsets coming along, it's about being humble and it's about being grateful and it's about staying stable, staying on that path. Now, it can be make, looking at long term plans. When we're making long term plans for the future, we will get hiccups that will come along. But he's looking out to the future here and he's accepting things, going with the flow, which opens up new opportunities for you. You've got new ideas here that you might want to take up, like I say, and you're able to make long-term plans for the future. You're ready to do that because you're ready for a brand new chapter in life. You want to bring in a brand new chapter. You want to shut something down and something new beginning. And you're going to be successful at this because you've got what it takes here to understand uh, the law of attraction. That's what this looks like to me. So you're well aware of what you have to do to keep things stable. You're well aware that making long-term plans here for your future helps. You're understanding that it's about being passionate about what we're investing in. So you've chosen your path now and you're prepared to make the plans and go for it. Now, look, plans are something that we can use, I certainly do, to measure your progress. So having things in place so you can measure your progress, it gives you the confidence to keep going and it, you know, you see things growing. And this is a brand new opportunity, a brand new opportunity. Um, you're shutting a, a, a chapter of your life down and you're opening a new one. So let's see what this is about. Let's clarify this world card. There's a new cycle starting here for you. Yeah. You're weighing things up here. There's things that you're stuck in here. Your things, it's your mindset as well. You could be thinking, you know, that I'm not going to be capable of regaining stability in life. This could be toxic environments. Uh, you're understanding that these things you're chained to, that these are lessons you're learning. You know that you need to weigh things up here. You need to weigh things up. Now, it could be toxic people, toxic bosses, relationships of any kind. It could be mindsets or addictions that you have. But you're going with it. You're accepting that you're here now. Um, you know that you need to make these decisions to put an end to this. You, you've got this, definitely. You understand this. And it's about, you know, putting a stop to everything that we're chained to and is bogging us down. Um, 
and making decisions, better, well-balanced decisions. And like I say, this could be in any area of your life we're talking about. It's about, you could be juggling too much as well, and that could be draining you. So you're not getting any pleasure out of things. You're stuck in chain to people and situations because you're spreading yourself too thinly. So that can cause problems as well. But it's about looking at things here, weighing them up, making a head over heels decision here on how to go forward to create brand new things. So there's things you know that you need to leave behind. You're accepting that now. You're going with it. You're going with the flow. You're grateful for your lessons. You're being humble about it. And you're saying, right, you know, I need to make these decisions and I need to think about stability. How am I going to do this? Um, trust and believe that you can do it because this can be, this devil energy can be a little voice in your shoulder saying to you, you know, have I got what it takes here? You have. You'll make good decisions. Listen to your intuition, like we say. Make these plans for your future to bring in brand new chapters and there'll be rebirth and rejuvenation for you here. Now, this can be pregnancy for some people. So if you don't want to be pregnant, be careful. But this is creating harmony in your life. It's a better, well-balanced life, better, well-balanced relationships. It could be better, well-balanced finances. If there's overspending going on, if there's addictions to anything here. Um, unhealthy habits here. It's about weighing it all up. And, and bringing new beginnings in, starting afresh here, having long-term plans to conquer these things and get back onto it and even keel again. So we'll just clarify this page of pentacles. You know this, though. I keep thinking that for a lot of you, you know this. Yes, yes. See, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck here. There's something holding you back. And whatever you're holding on to, you need to let it go. This could also be something you've been in for a long time that's gave you security in the past. So long-term relationships, jobs, financial investments. Um, it can be as well that you're wanting to balance out your finances. So you're making decisions here about finances, how to work your finances. So you might have a certain amount of money in the bank or you might come out with a certain amount of money. But that's great because that's going to enable you to go towards whatever it is that you're desiring. And your brand new chapter in your life is going to be, obviously, if there's a devil energy here, which there is, it's going to have to be something that you enjoy, that you're passionate about, that you're, you know will work for you. So you could be buying your first home, for example. You know, if, if you're fed up, you know, you're fed up parting with money. It's getting too expensive. Your mortgage might be cheaper. I'm just giving you examples. This will be different for everybody, but whatever's holding you back, it's time to get down that new path. It's time for brand new chapters and it's time for being strong. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart, but this is about rebirth and rejuvenation. New chapters, new things we're passionate about, going with the flow, accepting that, you know, we're chained and stuck and feeling it. We need to leave these things behind and we're starting to think about our stability here making the right decisions, weighing things up here and making long-term plans for the future through investing in things that we're truly passionate about. So brand new cycles coming in. We gain our courage from thinking about how far we've been, we've survived, and we gain our confidence from that, reflecting on the challenges we've been through and we're still here. So you've survived all this. You know, you're stronger than you give yourself credit for. So brand new chapters wanting to come in here. Definitely. You're ready for something new and you're well aware of this. You're taking your lessons and you're using them. Energy. Energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. This is about raising your vibration. Be around the right people. Not, not toxic people, toxic environments. This is about high vibration. Getting yourself into better situations here. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.